Talk a bit about your role as the uh, video uploader and how that became a part of this whole uh, movement. I mean, I personally started filming immediately, as many of us did, and I think many filmmakers felt that, uh, f you know, found a role during a revolution, I think, uh, transferable skills um, become very important, and when storytelling is one of your, is, is what you do, uh, and uh, everything that you're experiencing is being falsified in the media, then you begin to, to find a role for yourself within that. And it just so happened that there was this space uh, that I had access to and uh, came up with the idea of setting up a place which ended up being called Mosurin, uh, which would end up being dedicated to supporting people who uh, wanted to film or wanted to do any pro-revolutionary activity, wanted to meet and so on. And over time, because a lot of our friends were uh, imprisoned or tortured or otherwise, there became this necessity to produce videos. And over time, we built this very, very basic infrastructure with you know, tables and internet and a few cameras. And then we set up a YouTube channel. And we had an archive that had built out of what had been collected in the square. And the Mussolini became a place suddenly where a lot of people congregated. Mm. And then suddenly, what had started as a small group of people suddenly became, over the weeks following, up to 70 to 90 people shooting, editing, uploading. And within a few months, uh, Mussolini became the most watched non-profit YouTube channel in the world for a period of time. Wow. Uh, and ever in Egypt. So a lot of but the it, footage that yeah. you collected became part of, of the footage that the filmmakers were working with? Tell, talk about... I mean, some, yes. I mean, some. Talk about the materials that you were working with and where they came from for the film. Well, yeah, um, I, I think there was the you know as Khaled said we had an we had an amazing uh, access to Khaled as a character because Cressida was one of the, the the cinematographers on the film and w took us into places where it was probably he didn't want us to always be sometimes but it was uh, but the majority of the film you do see in the film uh, by f is is shot by our team um, which uh, we have How over many of you. We had uh, four main cameras, so it was... Um, what kind of cameras? Uh, the 5Ds. Um, so uh, Jahan was shooting, Hamdi Muhammad, who's a, yeah, the, the director who couldn't be here today. Uh, Hamdi Muhammad, the DP, um, who actually taught our team how to use them because most people, you know, Jahan hadn't shot on the DSLRs before. Um, and her main camera was confiscated when she arrived in Cairo, actually. So. She had this as a backup because people were telling, were saying, you know, you can use these because people think they're photography cameras, so uh, you can get away with more. And then Cressida, and then Ahmed, actually, the character, uh, learns how to shoot halfway th through the through, through the making of the film, and he took us to some of the some of the most beautiful shots and in, in the front lines of the battle is actually Ahmed's camera and. Well, let's talk about the editing, because um, you must have had an enormous amount of material. How much footage did you have, and, and when did, did you think the movie was ever going to end? Well, we, we had uh, approximately 1,600 hours of material. Um, I mean, basically, think over a period of two, two and a half years, uh, five cameras running in, in the, constantly in the square, and, you know, plus outside of the square. So there was, in, you know, actually there's a huge... Uh, if you look at it, there's a huge editorial team on this film um, because there was just an incredible amount of footage.